Hello and welcome to Selenium for Beginners. We are going to discuss how to create our own customized CSS selected values. The cheat sheet and transcript will be available on GitHub at Rex Jones the second forward slash Selenium for Beginners and tinyurl.com Selenium Locators for Web Elements. Let's start with the hashtag, which represents the ID attribute and the dot, which represents the class attribute. We are going to use orange HRM as our AUT application under test. Inspect username. And we see an ID attribute. To find this element using ID, we write the tag name input, and we see 22 elements with an input tag. Hashtag, then paste the value for ID, which is search system user underscore username. The green highlighted element means we successfully found username. Next is the class attribute. Let's inspect the search button. And we see class has a value of search button. Write input dot search button. The element is highlighted green. Did you notice the Chrome Dev Tools provide a CSS selector value over the web element? Hover over the search button and we see input hashtag search capital B T N dot search button. It combines the ID and class attributes. Input hashtag search capital B T N dot search button and we have our element. However, only one attribute is sufficient if it contains a unique value. We can also find an element using ID or class without writing a tag name like hashtag search capital BTN, but it is best to include the tag name. The next two syntaxes show tag name and a condition. Attribute name equals attribute value. We have the option of adding more than one condition. Both of these syntaxes look like an XPath syntax. The difference is XPath has two forward slashes and an at symbol. Let's inspect the delete button and write a query. We see our element. Write tag name input, two brackets, then write type. And we see 18 elements. Narrow the search for type by writing equal, two single quotes, and submit. Now we see one of one. If we change submit to button, then we see eight elements, which include search, reset, and add. The developer has delete as a different type than the other buttons. Next, inspect image. There are four attributes, SRC, width, height, and alt. Let's pretend a requirement wanted to make sure the width and height is a certain size. We can write IMG for tag, two brackets, width equal two single quotes and 283 for the first condition. The second condition 
two brackets, height equal two single quotes, and 56, bingo, we have our element. Next, we're going to look at some advanced CSS selectors. Let's walk through the int child syntax, parent child relationship syntax, and two matching patterns. The int child syntax is a pseudo class used for indexing. A pseudo class is a keyword preceded by a colon and added to the end of a CSS selector. The parent-child relationship is all about a direct relationship between elements. We match part of a pattern using a symbol and some of the attribute's value. Pattern matching is good for dynamic values. Our first example will combine the int child and the parent child relationship. I'm going to reload the page because I added some more values in this table. We're going to inspect Linda Anderson. Just like with our XPath example, we're going to start with the table tag name. Table has two children, T head and T body. T head forms the header and T body forms the body containing all of the rows and data. TR defines each row and TD defines data in each cell. We write the tag name table two brackets, attribute name ID equal two single quotes, attributes value result table with a capital T. Now we need T body, which has a direct relationship with table. Table is the parent. Therefore, we write angle bracket T body. Next, is the row and Linda Anderson is on one, two, three, fourth row. A child of T body is T aura. So we write another angle bracket, then T aura. Here is the pseudo class int child. We write colon nth hyphen child parenthesis four. Finally, we have the data. Which cell is Linda Anderson? Let's count. The checkbox is considered data in a cell. One, two, three, four. Last, we write another pseudo class for int child. Angle bracket, TD colon, NTH hyphen child, parenthesis, Four. There it is, Linda Anderson. You know what? You can go to W3Schools for a reference. W3Schools, CSS selectors. Dot class selector. Now let's look at the CSS selectors. Here's a list of many CSS selectors. Our next AUT will be yahoo.com. Let's inspect this sponsored element. we see the U tag has an ID attribute. However, the value for ID is dynamic. It will change after reloading the page. Right now, it ends with 1364. Reload. 
inspect again. And now it ends with nine eight five. Therefore, copying the selected value will not work and cause our test script to fail the next time it executes. There are many elements on this page with a dynamic value. How do we find dynamic values using a CSS selector? Our cheat sheet shows some of the symbols for matching a pattern. Starts with every element with a particular substring. Go back to our AUT. We can write the value it starts with. Tag name U, two brackets, ID, carrot symbol, equal, two singular quotes, Y, U, I. There it is. We can also match a substring of the attributes value, which is sum of the characters. Replace the carrot with an asterisk. And we still have our element. We are going to find an element using the ancestor child relationship with CSS selectors. Let's inspect the vertical slider. Our tag is span with a class value of range slider handle. Write span dot range slider handle. And we see 11 elements. How do we trim our search down to one element? Let's try going up to the parents and the type one of the values for class. Div dot range hyphen slider space. We still see 11 results. For a direct relationship between parents and the child, we can use a space or angle bracket and it will work either way. I'm going to use a space because the ancestor child relationship will not work with an angle bracket. How about the other value for class? Change range slider to vertical range. Okay, that's better. It returns two results. What's the other element with the same value? This is one of two. Let's look at two of two. Notice the child and parent contain the same values for class attribute for both elements. Even the slider value for role is the same. However, the ancestor, also known as grandparent, is different for both elements. This ancestor has large six and the columns for class in the div tag. The first element has many values for class in the div tag. We can get one of one if we use the parent and grandparent, but that value will be long. Therefore, we skip the parent by removing the parent, then write div.small-3. Now, the results are one of one when we use the ancestor and child. Online courses coming soon. Books available in paperback, ebook, and PDF. All part one ebooks and PDF documents are free. Programming books for UFT. Programming books for Java. Here's the Selenium automation book. And TestNG. Subscribe to get notification of future videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.